I'm thrilled to be asked to do this because, um, you know, for two real important reasons. One, uh, Gary Stern was a friend of mine, and two, he created one of my favorite places in Rochester, Village Gate. So I was really thrilled to be able to be here this morning. Yay! And thank you for all being here this morning. It's really wonderful that we were able to hold today's recognition ceremony with a gathering of so many people who knew and loved Gary Stern. I can't think of anybody in Rochester who is more deserving of the honor of having a street memorialized in their name than Gary Stern. College Avenue, now also known as Gary Stern Way, sits in the heart of the neighborhood of the arts. And it's safe to say there would be no neighborhood of the arts without Gary Stern. When Gary purchased the old factory here, the old printing plant that would become Village Gate back in the early 1980s, this neighborhood was in a real state of decline. The museums were here, the art gallery was here, but they weren't enough to sustain an entire neighborhood. The old factories and warehouses were empty, the beautiful old buildings of the original University of Rochester campus were shells of their former selves. This was a neighborhood that showed the casual observer what Rochester used to be, not what it could be. But Gary Stern was not a casual observer. No. He had vision. He saw this neighborhood's potential. And like so many innovative business leaders who have blessed our history in Rochester, Gary Stern took a risk and he bet on Rochester. He invested in Village Gate and kept investing in the neighborhood around it. And that investment is still paying dividends, not just for the Stern family, but for the entire city and the entire region. Village Gate was the spark that ignited dramatic change in this neighborhood. It was a major impetus for millions of dollars of public investment in the Art Walk project, which solidified this neighborhood's brand as Neighborhood of the Arts. And that prompted Memorial Art Gallery and the Rochester Museum and Science Center to invest in their own campuses. And now, the Neighborhood of the Arts is bringing value to adjacent neighborhoods. When we applied for the original stimulus grant to fill in the inner loop, we made it clear that one of our goals was to connect downtown Rochester with one of its most vibrant residential and commercial neighborhoods, the Neighborhood of the Arts. I don't think we could have said that before Gary Stern created the Village Gate. And when the late Larry Glazer bought the old Genesee Hospital campus on Monroe Avenue, he also bought property along Alexander Street with a vision of creating a corridor of vitality extending all the way to, you guessed it, the neighborhood of the arts. And now Village Gate is home to so much more than what anyone could have imagined in the 1980s. Um, it's filled with shops and restaurants and cool apartments. And who could have known that it would become the headquarters of a company like Cloud Checker, a company that specializes in helping other companies store their data in the cloud. A company that chose Rochester because of the amazing talent we have among the young people graduating from our 19 colleges and universities in the area. Young people who want to live, work, and play in neighborhoods like this one. Back in the 1980s, we were talking about Rochester's brain drain. Now we're talking about Rochester being one of the fastest growing cities for young professionals. Um, this building right here has a company that designs video games. Who would have thought that you'd have a company that designs video games right in the middle of Rochester? And when you walk in there, you take off your shoes because everybody's barefoot. And they have the obligatory ping pong table right in the middle of the floor and a bunch of people sitting around coding video games right here in Rochester. And I have no doubt that Village Gate and the Neighborhood of the Arts and Gary Stern are a big part of that story. And that's why I'm so happy that this road in the heart of the Neighborhood of the Arts now bears the name Gary Stern Way.